welcome to my channel my name is jennifer Ohamo. if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome back and if this is your first time here please don't make it your last kindly hit the subscribe button i'll be glad to have you so today i'll be talking about mental health like things that bother around our state of mind right just in case you didn't know the month of may is one of the months dedicated to creating mental health awareness and the truth is there are so many mental health awareness campaigns going on out there however i'm not really sure people know where to seek help from where they have mental health challenges the world health organization as of last year 2022 they said that about one in eight people have a mental health condition and in nigeria alone about 20 million people have mental health issues and this is about 10 percent of the country's population give or take so it's really really a big deal so in this video i'll be telling you things you should know about your mental health and where to actually get help from when you need the help the first thing is that the fact that someone has a mental health challenge doesn't mean the person is mad yeah there are myriad of mental health challenges that ranges from eating disorders paranoia bipolar schizophrenia depression which is like the most common one there is an anxiety disorder that is post-traumatic stress disorder and the number of people are dealing with one or more of these health challenges so if you know anyone who falls under this category just sit back because i'll be telling you what you're going to do in order to help this person or even if you're the person i'll be telling you what you're going to do for yourself the second thing is mental health conditions they are not demonic attacks they are not spiritual problems right well yes i know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers when it comes to your mental health god has actually empowered people to help you take care of it right so if someone has a mental health condition or has a mental health challenge rather than taking the person from one church or prayer house to other there is something you can do for this person right it is not a spiritual or demonic attack there is something you can do for this person the third thing you should know about mental health is that if you have a traumatic experience or incident maybe as a child even as an adult right don't say um, i'm going to deal with this on its own as an entity no you can't do that the reason you can't do that is because the human being is psychosomatic psychosomatic in the sense that what affects your mind also affects your body right so you can't just sweep things under the carpet let's say it's the loss of a loved one or something really tragic happens right you can't say i'm going to pretend like this didn't happen right if you do that you're going to be weighing yourself down on the long run you actually need to deal with this incident head on that's the only way to not let it weigh you down or drown you the first thing is that to solve a problem you have to first admit that there is a problem right but if you don't know there's something wrong with you it's going to be hard for you to seek help because even if people try to point it out to you you're going to feel like these people are attacking me or they don't understand me or any of those things so the first step in actually getting help is to admit that there is something wrong with you now how do you go about solving this problem let's say you're going through a mental breakdown or you're beginning to see depressive symptoms there are a number of things you can do in order to help reduce the effect it would have on your life as an individual the first thing is to identify the stressor is it your workplace is it somebody you're in constant communication with is it something that you're constantly being exposed to is it maybe on social media or is it someone that whenever you see it triggers something in you you have to first identify it. is it an incident that happened in your past as a child you know there are so many people who are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorders because they encountered something really shocking or something really traumatizing as a child and they never really got over it so even up until date sometimes they have panic attacks and all of that these are stressors these are like things that they're, they're like your triggers right so you have to first identify these triggers the second thing is that you need to talk to someone not just any random person people come on social media and they say speak up speak out talk to somebody you need help you need one person you need somebody you don't need to like talk to everybody in your space but you need somebody that you trust somebody who you know cares about you and somebody who you know can actually prefer a solution to what the problem is the third thing you should do while trying to get help while trying to speak up and talk to somebody is to do things that are healthy exercise eating healthy you know we really underestimate the effect of proper feeding right many people who think they are depressed are just hungry but that's a story for another day but this is not to belittle the extent or the existence of depression there are people who are clinically depressed right and at that point food is the least of their problem so yes in the process of you trying to get help you try to do things that are healthy things that are engaging things that make you happy the fifth thing you should do right if i've not lost count 
The fifth thing you should do is stay away from harmful substances. Because when things happen to us, we try to find a coping mechanism, we try to find a way around the thing. People start taking harmful substances, taking lots of alcohol, and indulging in so many unhealthy things that would further drown them. So as much as you can, stay away from harmful substances. They are not going to solve the problem. They cannot solve the problem. They will further worsen your situation and make your case more complex to manage. The final thing you should do, which is the most important thing, is to seek professional help. Seeking professional help doesn't mean going to social media to tell the world your problem. Seeking professional help means that you're going to look for a psychiatrist. Now, in our environment, when you say psychiatrist, it's as if, oh, this is someone who takes care of mad people. That's not true. A psychiatrist is just a doctor who is a specialist in taking care of people's mental health, right? So you don't even need to have a mental health challenge at the time. You can actually periodically go for therapy, go for checkup, just talk to them, right? The major challenge for me, if you ask me, the major challenge about getting mental health care in this part of the world, I can't speak for other places, is the cost because it is really, really expensive. There's a lot of awareness. However, people who even need help, some of them don't know where to get the help from. When they eventually find out where to get the help from, they cannot afford the treatment, right? So these are some of the challenges. But if you're able to identify your stressors from the scratch, if you're able to open up to somebody, if you're able to indulge in things that are healthy, and actually admit that there is something going on with you, it can also help speed up your recovery process. I am not a psychiatrist, I'm a dental surgeon. However, I've come across people who say, oh, I have pain, or I have halitosis, I have this, I have that. And then when you engage them, you realize that these things are inexistent, right? They're just going through a mental challenge. And this mental challenge is now reflecting on their body or affecting how they perceive themselves right so they come up with so many things and it's only when you engage people in conversation that you realize that these things are only stemming from their mind because maybe they are, they are dealing with something or they don't want to deal with something so the pressure from that thing they refuse to deal with is now pushing into other parts of their life and is reflecting or manifesting in whatever it is they are complaining about so mental health is really a big deal i mean look at the number of people who have this challenge now look at the people on social media, the people you meet on the road randomly, people are dealing with a lot. So if you're watching this video, either as somebody who has a mental health challenge or someone who is close to anybody who needs help, there is hope. There is a lot that can be done for this person. Just reach out to a psychiatrist. If you go to a hospital, a general hospital, you can request to see a psychiatrist. There are also specialist hospitals that deal in managing people who have mental health challenges. And I want to reiterate that people who have mental health challenges, they are not mad people, right? There are just a whole lot of things that can affect people's mental health. So wanting to see a psychiatrist doesn't mean that you're insane. It just means that you're taking your health very seriously and you're trying to do what it is you can do best. For yourself i'm making this video from a very sincere place i experienced something recently and it just dawned on me on how much we don't know about some of these things and how much people are not putting effort that there, there is a whole lot that can be done for people who have mental health challenges there's no demonic attack they don't need the exorcism they need to see a doctor so if you have someone who needs help please take the person to the appropriate place you don't have to take the person to the church or you know tie tie a chain around them and pour holy water on them and all of those things Take the person to the hospital. This person needs medical attention and this person is going to be taken care of. Mental health condition manifests in different ways. I can't really categorically say that these are the core signs, but there are things you see someone do and you know that this person doesn't do this before. So when they start doing those things, it's already a sign that there is something not going on well with this person. If someone stops to eat, if someone stops to shower, if someone stops to brush, if someone becomes very withdrawn, you know, these are signs that there is something going on with this person, right? You may want to first engage this person in a conversation and then go on to convince the person to see a specialist. I hope you found this video helpful. My channel here is about oral health, health and life in general. And because this is the month of May, which is also my birth month, I found it necessary to put this out there because I'm convinced it's going to help someone, even if it's just one person. So please feel free to share this with your contact so you can get to people who need it the most. Thank you very much. See you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.